All right, so we're going to talk about how we convert between different units of length, okay? Because we might have things like meters and centimeters, and we have to convert between the two. And there's four main units of length we use when we're talking about length in our metric system. And the big, biggest one we tend to use most often is the kilometer. So if you go for a drive, we tend to measure that in kilometers. The next one down from that is meters. So we might measure things like bedroom sizes in meters, for example. Then we go down to centimeters and then the small one. And if you've got a ruler, you see all those little um, tiny little sections uh, broken up on your ruler. They are millimeters. So how can we convert between all four of those things? You're going to have to come up with this uh, table. I'm going to show you how it works, but this is probably something you should learn and memorize. It's called a conversion table. Uh, or a conversion chart, so you can convert between different units of length. So, we're going to start with the kilometers, meters, centimeters, and millimeters. And there are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. So, if I have one kilometer, times that by 1,000, I get 1,000 meters. So, I'm going to put it times 1,000, and I'm going to put arrows here to show that if I'm going from kilometers to meters, that I'm multiplying by 1,000. Going from meters to centimeters, I'm going to multiply by 100, and from centimeters to millimeters, multiply by 10. Okay? Coming across the bottom, you'll see I put my arrows back in the other direction, because if I was moving from millimeters to centimeters, I'm going to do the opposite of multiply, I'm going to divide. But the numbers stay the same, so I get divide by 10, divide by 100, and divide by 1000. And I can use this chart. Now that I've got this, I can do conversions real easy, so probably something you should memorize. All right, so here's a conversion you can do. Convert 5.2 centimeters to millimeters. So here's what I do. I start at my centimeters, and I've got 5.2 centimeters. Now, I want to go from centimeters to millimeters. So if I follow my chart, the arrow tells me that I'm going to multiply by 10. So I take my 5.2 times it by 10. You can do that in your head, or you can do it in your calculator. If you do it in your head, you're just going to simply add a zero to the end of it, because that's what times by 10 is, uh, and we get 52. So 5.2 centimeters converts to 52 millimeters, and I can just use my chart to make that happen. What about if I went the other way? What if I said I've got 85,000 centimeters, and I want to convert that into kilometers? So how many kilometers is 85,000 centimeters? So we're going to start at centimeters, and if I follow the arrows, there's actually two steps I've got to go. From centimetres to metres, I divide by 100. From metres to kilometres, I divide by 1,000. So I do those two steps individually. So I start with my 85,000, divide it by 100, divide it by 1,000, and I get 0 0.85 kilometres. That one, you, you know, probably doing your calculator. You could do that in your head. But um, if you're not sure, just use your calculator. So there are 0.85 kilometers is the same thing as 85,000 centimeters. That's how we convert between units of length.